I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it up Nothing you say makes it better Bugs. What's going on? It's 3.30 in the morning and I am still up. Hence, I have my head wrap on right now. And so you guys are getting a different look. And I saw this crazy video that I wanted to share with you guys. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it's like really crass. <laughs> it's, it's low. This video is low. So you guys want to see it? <laughs> Cause I want to see it again. You ready? I'm ready. Here it goes. Now let's turn back to the Republican National Convention, which is set to start Monday. All week long, we've been talking to Republican strategist Marie Byron, who has all the details about this important event. Hi, Andrea. Hi there, Marie. Now, all of Tampa Bay is gearing up for the convention, but I understand no one's more excited than the area's gay prostitutes who are expecting record numbers of clients. That's right, Andrea. This convention means increased sales for hotels, restaurants, and, of course, the men who provide anonymous gay sex. All right. Now, how much money will all those closeted Republican convention goers bring into the city, Marie? A lot. <laughs> the average Tampa area prostitute normally makes around two to three hundred dollars a week jerking off truck drivers behind the bus station. But I see. Next week, they are expecting to make about 30 times that amount sucking off secretly gay Republicans. Wow. So the convention goers will be slipping out of prayer breakfast yeah. and Mike Huckabee speeches all week long to go trawl Tampa side right. streets. And all those tricks add up. They sure do. Then you figure the fact that these delegates are so repressed and filled with self-hatred. Yes. They tend to like the filthiest, kinkiest sex acts imaginable. Oh, that's which right tends to cost more. Uh, right, on this chart I see fecal play, choking, yeah, we but, also have... You know, the average well-adjusted gay man has no desire to smear fecal matter all <laughs> over his partner's face no. or be beat up by him, but you know, that is exactly the sort of thing that these repressed conservatives are willing to pay top dollar for. Okay, as well as the services of transsexuals, oh, I understand. Yes. The female prostitutes in Tampa, well, they've mm. already begun to wear Republican t-shirts and pins <laughs> to signal they're ready to cater to the GOP. Well, no one loves a hooker with a dick under her dress more than a closeted Republican. No one. Well, let's talk about South Carolina of Senator Lindsey Graham. We obtained a copy of his schedule here, Marie, and you can right, see... Right. You can see he has left two-hour blocks of time, which we assume is for getting his balls drained by a tranny named Chandrel Mercedes. Yes, well, we spoke to Tampa gay prostitutes earlier oh. today. Let's take a look. Please. I'm gonna fuck all these old fatty boys. I'm gonna go get some Tina on party. I was hoping to make some money and maybe buy a plane ticket to see my aunt down in Houston. Go Mitt Romney. It sounds like they're really looking forward to yes, it. But it will also be exhausting. A lot of the Republicans repeatedly call the prostitutes faggots or True. start crying after they've had sex with them. I suppose the prostitutes are shoring up on their politics so they can talk to the Republicans. Ha ha, Andrea, what do you think this is? Pretty woman? They're just there to get fucked. Right. Thank you, Marie Byron. Oh, RNC's always a good time. Good to see you as always. Yeah. Moving on, Ron Paul received an important endorsement just in time for the RNC from Big Sandy, the horse who can do math. Well, all right to the babies. That wraps it up for this edition of Stirring It Up With Me, Tierra Monique. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little clip brought to us by The Onion. You can find them on YouTube. Yes, The Onion. You know that thing that makes you cry, brings tears to your eyes. Anyway, guys, I enjoyed this clip. I thought it was hilarious. I hope you did, too. I find all the hilarity in it and don't take it too serious. Please leave me a comment below. Of course, like and subscribe if you'd like to become a love bug, a friend of the channel, so that you get notified every time I do post. And uh, just be a friend. All right, talk to you later. Bye.